Form 2, English Language, page number 42, and we'll be talking about person. Let's have a look. All right. Let's have a look on learning objectives. So when it comes to learning objectives, we will be mainly focusing on the use age of person for second third person and how we can use it in a sentence and also when it comes to learning outcomes would be to be able to identify the first second person and also third person when it comes to whatever the piece of academic writing that you are writing or when it comes to the uh, uh, when it comes to the speaking when you are communicating All right, now let's have a look on what does it mean by first, second, third person. So basically we use person in order to uh, express someone else's point of view or your point of view or else when it comes to third person it could be the speaker's point of view. So when it comes to first person it means the speaker which means I myself and then when it comes to second person it means the some it means someone who we can address and then we have the third person which means uh, that we have to indicate other than the speaker individual or the other than the speaker All right, what is first person? First person is point of view when it comes to when it comes to the speaker. Now and also at the same time it uses the subject pronoun unless it's plural. So what does it mean by subject pronoun? Subject pronoun is I. So for an instance we could say that I am the speaker and this is the first person because you are speaking behalf of yourself. And what is second person? Second person is the point of view when you address some. So for an instance, the most common uh, second point of view, second person would be you. You prefer coffee or hot cocoa. In this example, we address someone, right? So this is the second person. And what is third person? Third person is the point of view when we refer to an individual, so for an instance we could say he, she, it or they. So we could say that he prefers coffee to hot cocoa. In this example, he means the third party. The speaker is referring to him as the it. Got it? Now here I have break down uh, the first person pronoun. Let's have a look. So, for an instance, I and we. So, the singular form is I and the plural form is we. I prefer coffee to hot cocoa. That is first person singular. And we could say that we prefer burgers to pasta. That is the first person plural. And also, we have me or us. And which is a, which is an object and then the singular form is me and the plural form is us. Jacob Jacob embarrassed me and we could say that Jacob embarrassed us. And then we have mine or ours, which is a possessive form and the singular plural is singular is mine and plural is ours. So we could say that the hat is mine the hat is R. And also apart from that we have my or our. That is also possessive, possessive. And we mostly use it to modify a noun. And the singular is my and the plural is us. So that we could say this is my hat and that is our hat. As I mentioned previously, we use second person pronouns to address someone. So, for an instance, we have you, yours. 
Now when it comes to you, it's the same thing for either singular or plural. You prefer or you prefer to hot cocoa. Or we could say that Jacob embarrassed you. And then when it comes to yours, that is the possessive singular plural. Now we we can say that the hat is yours. Got it? And then when it comes to your, it means possessive, it's a modifying a noun. And also whether it's singular or plural, we can say that that, that is your hat. Now, if we take a look at on the third person pronouns, which it means that when we have when we have to make a statement about another person, so we could use words such as he, she, it, it, they, he, she, or it. Okay. So when it comes to he, she, it, or they, I did singular or plural. We still use those ones unless it is a possessive modifying noun or a possi possessive singular plural noun. So when it comes to possessive singular plural noun, what we use is his, hers, its and theirs. Got it? So let's have a look, uh, look on the examples. So when it comes to the subject, when it comes subject singular plural, third person goes as he prefers coffee to hot cocoa. Got it? That is the third person singular. Okay? And then we can use, we can use, they prefer tea to coffee. That is third person true. Got it? And then we have him or her, it's them. Now this is object for singular plural. We can say that Jacob embraced them. Apart from that, as I mentioned previously, we have possessive. Singular plural. So I said, I told you all that we can use his, hers, its, and their. So we could say that the hat is that. And also when it comes to positive modifying a noun, singular plural, it also the same thing, but it's just that we use his, her, its, and their. Not its. Yeah, no, sorry. When it comes to a possessive modifying a noun, singular plural, we use his, her, and then their, and also its. So we can say that that is their hat. Thank you and have a nice day.